Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Today we're going to go over some coat closet hacks and techniques. Let's get started. Here's a quick look at our before closet. It's overcrowded, it's too full, there's no organization, and oh my gosh, look at the pile of shoes. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove everything. Gut the closet entirely so that I can start with a clean and fresh slate. Just look at all that stuff. Now I'm gonna need to go through that, but that's not where I'm gonna start. I'm actually gonna start with the closet. See how dirty this is? So much dirt. So I'm gonna start by vacuuming the floor and the baseboards. I'm gonna also vacuum the shelf and clean every ounce of this with the vacuum cleaner first. Next, I'm going to wipe everything down. So I'm taking a damp rag and wiping off all of the shelves and the rack itself, the floor, the baseboards, until it's entirely clean. I measured my closet and I found this shoe organizer would fit perfect at the bottom of the closet. I grouped all of the shoes because there are four of us that live in this home. So I grouped everybody's shoes together and oh my goodness, so many shoes. Now everybody gets a shelf and I've taken where each person gets four pairs of shoes that they use the most often during this season and replacing it in the shoe organizer. The rest will go into each person's rooms. So much better, don't you think? Now, as I mentioned, it's winter, so I'm going to be placing coats in at least one for each person and then stop there. When it comes to hats and accessories, here's some options. So I get a plastic container and I name it with a person's name on it. And then we place the hats inside the tub. Now these happen to be all of my husband's baseball hats. And you can do it this way, which he stacks. Or you could fold the back inside and place them in front of each other like this. It's really up to you which way you prefer to do it. Once we have them all in place, we're simply going to place them in the container and then place them on the shelf in the closet. Now, as I mentioned, it's winter time here, so I'm placing some of the boots on the bottom shelf that fit there nicely, and the ones that are too tall, I'll fit on the top shelf. Now, this next tip I learned from my mom, and I've since passed it on to my kids as well. So I take my mittens or gloves and place them into my hat, and then I take my scarf and I place it into one sleeve of my coat, and then I place the hat and mittens into the other sleeve in the coat. This stops everything from being lost, keeps the whole outfit together, and it doesn't take up as much storage. This was great when my kids were in elementary school. It kept us from losing a lot of hats and mittens. Now, if you live in an area that has snow pants, no problem. Put those on the bottom of a hanger and then place that inside the coat as well. Now your entire outfit is complete. I purchased four trash cans from the dollar store, one for each of our family members. I placed a chalkboard sticker on the front and put everybody's names on it. I tipped it upside right and then placed our hats and gloves and different things that we need for the winter time inside of them. During the summer, you could replace that with sunscreen and sunglasses and change it per season. We hung one of these coat racks in our laundry room. This way, when we came in from the garage, we could easily take our coat off and hang it here. We try to keep each person to one coat on this rack to keep it from getting too cluttered in the space. Now, right above those, I placed command hooks for each one of us. So there's four command hooks total above here. We take those trash cans and we hang them on the hooks. Now, you could easily use wired racks or something with holes in them if you prefer, or you could put them down lower for younger children. This one easy idea can be used in so many different ways and for all the seasons. Now, if you're cramped on space, one of my other favorite things to use in a lot of areas of our home are these over-the-door hanging racks. Here's some examples of what you can use them for. Hats, coats, even backpacks. Maybe your hats and gloves are needing to dry after being outside in the snow, so you can place those on top and let them air dry as well. We placed a white one from the dollar store over here, and we use it for laundry, or we've used it to hang swimsuits on when we come back from the pool. If you're also cramped on space, over-the-door shoe organizers are fantastic. They obviously can hold your shoes, but they can hold other things too, like they can hold cleaning supplies. They can also hold your hats and gloves. They can hold accessories like sunglasses, sunscreen, and bug spray. It can also hold your baseball caps. These over-the-door hooks also work great for cleaning supplies. This helps clear up your cloak closet as well. 
Use these hooks to also hold your umbrellas, a great easy grab and go out the door. Now, what do we do with some of our other supplies? Well, if it's not in season, we often put it in our guest room and hang some of our coats there. We've also been known to use our coat hanging racks. This one happens to be my grandmother's. My daughter keeps some of her coats and some of her shoes in her room. So we just disperse them through the house and we bring them down when it's the right season or we use them and then put them away. You could also place items into storage by just simply placing them in a container and then storing them for a while and then swapping out the items. Now let's recap and look at all the organization so much better. you to try some coat closet hacks of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.